Texas, where Roxanne is on the line. Roxanne, thank you for calling the Hamilton Corner. Welcome to the program. Hello. 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 I'm here. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Go right ahead. Well, um, I just want to point out that I know there's something in the Constitution, and I probably won't word it correctly, but um, Congress shall make no law that just takes away our rights that are granted in the Constitution. And um, President Biden, well, of course, it's not a law because it's just a mandate. And um, President Biden doesn't have the authority to do what he's doing. But secondly, um, there is no more emergency. Um, I, I know that presidents can have authority to do some mandates during an, an emergency, but there is no more emergency because we have not follow anybody. We have ivermectin. The original COVID has already um, the, has turned into two other variants, the Lambda, the Delta, and now the Omicron. And people are able to address it with therapeutics. So where's the emergency? I think they have everyone scrambling to fight these, these mandates uh, over their jobs and the Navy SEALs, etc. When there is no more emergency. So this, this whole mandate thing should be null and void by now. Great call, Roxanne. Thank you for your call and your comments. And, and your, what you raise about the emergency nature of the issue is one of the issues uh, that the OSHA regulations themselves acknowledge and have, has to exist. And it's actually one of the issues that will be brought up during oral arguments on Friday. Uh, and you have to ask yourself, can you, how can it be such an emergency when you can put off an impl implement, implementation for three months? I'm in such a hurry. If you know what that is, Jay Max, Cubicle, and I'm going to start walking next year. Yeah, I, I, this is I mean, it, this one of those moments where I'm just